We are igniting the blockchain today. We are going to create a blockchain. This is Elizabeth. You know me as the crypto woman. And I am going to show you just how easy it is to create your own blockchain. So I made a commitment last year to demonstrate this to you. Uh, but my plans were postponed when I became the full-time director of the Ardor Next Group. But in that capacity, I have found myself um, coaching and advising people about creating assets and using the full features of the Ardor, Ignis, and NXT blockchains. And I think it's a good time to pick this project back up and walk through the process with you. I think the best place for us to start is gelarita.com. We can check out some of the considerations that we need to think about before we decide if a blockchain is the right solution for you. And it's really important for us to understand the JPL license. Uh, Gelarita is the company that was formed to protect our intellectual property and to continue the development of the Ardor and NXT projects. So on Gelarita.com, we'll pick the NXT Blockchain Creation Kit tab and we'll learn that the NXT Blockchain Creation Kit allows blockchain developers to create and launch their own blockchain platform based on NXT. And so there might be some times when you want to create your own private or public blockchain. For instance, if you want new transaction types, or you want to change some inflation of the coin, or modify the, your block parameters, or any of those other things that aren't able to be done in the regular API interface or, um, or, or a new client. So if these um, situations apply to you, and you want to create your own blockchain, let's get started. First, let's check out the Gelarita Public License. The Gelarita Public License can be found clicking here in this blue link in the middle. I'm not going to go over the whole entire thing with you, but the too long don't read version is that you must keep your new project open source, you must give credit to Gelarita, and during the Genesis block, you must distribute 10% of your new tokens to the current holders of NXT. That's it. If we understand all of this and our application meets those criteria, then we can move on and download the next blockchain creation kit right there. This takes us to a page that we're going to refer to often, the next clone starter information and we're going to download that. Let's return to the next clone starter information page on the Gelarita Bitbucket. This is where we're going to find all of the information that we need to create our Genesis block for our new blockchain. We're going to use the JPL Snapshot NRS add-on. If you've downloaded the latest version of the NXT mainnet, this is already included. We just have to add a line to the properties file so we can access it. And I'm going to do that right now. Okay, so it's really important to know that we are working on the main net of the client wallet right now. You're going, going to want to navigate on your computer to the directory where that um, program is stored and you're going to, to um, find or create an xt.properties file. And we're gonna add this line right here. Inside the conf directory of the application files for the NXT client that I'm running, I created the NXT properties file, added this line, and saved it. Now that we've updated the NXT properties file with the JPL add-on, we can navigate back to our client wallet and 
go to the little gear up there in the right hand corner, drop it down, go to API console. We're going to scroll down to add-ons and here is the download JPL snapshot. This one is asking us to put in the file. Okay, so we've got to talk about this file that we're going to create. I'm calling mine genesis.txt. Um, it's really important to make sure that whatever um, notepad or text editor that you're using, that you don't save this as a rich text file. It needs to be a plain text file. Um, that's just a side note. So basically, what you need to do here, if you haven't already done it, is pause and go and create the NXT accounts that you want, that 900 million tokens to be distributed among. Um, go ahead and create the files that you want. I would suggest that you keep them in a spreadsheet or a text file somewhere with their public key. I am going to create seven and I am going to use them for different purposes for my coin. Uh, most of them will be for um, delegated for the ways that I'm choosing to distribute the coin, which is going to be pretty much free and generous. And moving on, we can move back to the next clone starter directions on the Jellarita Bitbucket page. And we can see an example there of the lines that we need to put on. So we need to follow this format right here. I've created an account that I'm calling genesis.txt and I have listed eight, excuse me, nine NXT accounts with varying amounts that will equal 900 million. For each one of these lines that tell us the account number and the amount to distribute, there is a corresponding public key line below. Go ahead and create those accounts and then follow this example from this point and create this file, this text file. Put it somewhere where you can find it, like on your desktop, and let's go on. So now I'm coming back over here. We're going to go to the API console. We're going to drop back down here to add-ons where we're going to find the download JPL snapshot add-on that we just created. Okay, so two things that we have to enter here. We're going to choose that file, and we're going to choose the block height, and we're going to call that block height just about now. Current height of this blockchain is right there. Well, we probably grab too much information, but we can just wipe that right out and we want it to give us this JSON response so we are going to submit it and wait a few seconds and we will see what happens this should take about one minute which is really important here while we're waiting for us to realize that we're going to be switching blockchain instances after we grab this snapshot we're going to shut down the main net that we've been working on to grab those accounts. There it is. Did you see that drop down there? Let's go find it. So now what do we do with this? And we're going to open up the NXT clone to the next clone folder on your computer and you want to go into the CONF, the conf folder and then find the data folder and inside that you're going to see these three files. First one is going to be the one that is empty. Okay, This is the Genesis Accounts JSON file. We actually just created that. So what I want to do here is I'm going to go ahead and delete this one, move it to trash, and I am going to pull this one over there. So let's just peek inside and make sure we're done that. Okay, so we're all set. Big file. Wow, look at all those numbers. All those accounts. Okay, now in the Genesis parameters, we're going to have to 
um, make another setting. We have the Genesis public key, which is there, and then we, the, we have the epoch beginning. But to be honest with you, this is not quite right. So I'm going to change that to today's date, which is the 10th day of September, 2018. Okay, so we've grabbed that file. We've seen how many accounts are in there. Um, recipients of 10% of our new token, our new coin. And um, now it's time to shut that down. So we need to navigate to that directory and in um, your whatever command box you use for your computer, you're going to run the appropriate run commands. And because I'm running a terminal on a Mac, I'm going to um, do the dot forward slash run dot sh from within that um, directory. And then I can open up the new blockchain in a local browser. So just know that we're switching now. After I updated all of my configuration data files with the parameters and the accounts that I needed to create my own personal blockchain, I um, simply navigated to the directory where my next clone is and in terminal, I typed in dot forward slash run dot sh. And this is what happened. Look at that. It really didn't take very long. I'm going to guess it was less than five minutes to generate all of this. And then it got to this place. And it said that I can find my client UI, user interface at this URL, and so I am going to copy that. Okay, this is a familiar splash screen. If you are a uh, user or holder of NXT, and um, we are going to rebrand this a little bit later, but right now I want to see if this was successful. So I'm going to go in and check one of the accounts that I created to receive 100 million of this cloned coin. And there it is, right there. See it? 100 million next clone coin. Look at that. Okay, so there are some things we need to do now to brand this and, and tweak it and make it our own. We need to rename it, we need to um, retheme it, we need to pick the features that we want and some other things. This is uh, something that I want to do soon and demonstrate to you. I'm really, really excited. I want to celebrate. I can't believe it. Um, wow, I've got my own coin. I can't wait to share it with you. These are all things that everybody needs to consider when they're making um, a blockchain platform or a token. Um, names, um, we have to talk about theming of our client wallet. Um, I want to talk about fee structures because, of course, one of the reasons I chose to create my own um, blockchain or token for encrypted messaging is so that I can control the fees and uh, make them as small as absolutely possible. So I do hope it's a useful token. You know, I, you don't want to do these things just for fun, although I hope you've enjoyed this demonstration. I'm going to keep on. I'm going to try and keep to continue walking through this process of um, developing a little bit and demonstrating to you um, what the extent of a project like this can be. So stay tuned.